the best assault rifle in Battlefield Hardline. Which one is it? And why the fuck are you making a video on the best assault rifle in Battlefield Hardline when one, the game is still in beta, and two, there's only three freaking assault rifles in the game? Huh? Why don't you tell me what that's all about, Dolce? Well, all right there, Billy. Calm your tits, please. So, let's talk a little bit about the balance issues that are going on within the assault rifle department at the moment in Battlefield Hardline. We have the M16A3, which is just way, way too good compared to all of the other assault rifles in the game. It's got an extremely good rate of fire, it's insanely accurate, and it reloads pretty freaking fast. I think we can all agree right now that the M16 really stands out out of all the other assault rifles. Now, on the other hand, we have the AKM, a powerful assault rifle that you can compare to the G3A3 from Battlefield 3 or even the SCAR-H from Battlefield 4. However, it's got an insane amount of recoil if you compare it to the other assault rifles in the game, and I have no problem with the huge amount of recoil. I like it. I really do. It adds a lot to the gunplay, especially since suppression is almost non-existent and screen shake is kept to a minimum. Except, except for when that big-ass crane comes down. Me no goose to that screen shake at all. And then we have the G36. A good all-around rifle, but it doesn't have the pizzazz that other assault rifles have in the game. The fire rate is on the lower side, and the damage model is on par with the M16A3, making it not really all that special and unique. So if you really want the best assault rifle in the beta right now at the moment, stick to using either the AKM or the M16A3. I personally prefer the AKM, I just prefer the feels of it. And it reminds me of my trusty SCAR-H, which I love so much, I think most of you guys already know that. But my only complaint when it comes to the weapon balance in a hardline is the recoil. I like the recoil on the AKM, it makes the gun feels a lot more challenging and it forces you to develop skills to actually master the weapon. And if they would increase the recoil on some of the weapons in the game so that it would match the recoil of the AKM, it would make the gunfights a lot more interesting. However, increasing the learning curve, especially on a multiplayer FPS shooter these days, means putting in more time and getting better at the game and really get the hang of the weapons, and that is not what a lot of publishers are looking for these days. They want something easy to pick up, a game that your neighbor who picks up a controller twice a month can get good at within, let's say, a couple of hours. And one of the many ways to do that is by making shooting people in the face relatively easy. So that's why we see the recoil being cut out of the equation in a lot of modern FPS shooters, to make the introduction to the game as smooth as possible. Now for people like me, personally, I think that is something unfortunate, because I take great pleasure in getting better at a challenging game, especially when it comes to the gunplay and getting used to the way some of the weapons handle. But that's just my opinion, and I think adding that extra small amount of recoil and difficulty to a game could really improve things. But what do you peeps think? Do you agree with this, or do you like your weapons to have the same recoil pattern as a laser pointer? Let me know all about it in the comments down below, I'm feeling quite curious today. I have been Dolce, loving your face off, and I'll see you in the next video.